Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me for another Technology Tip Thursday. If you have not already, please like, share, and subscribe. In this video, I want to show you how to add labels to your formatting. So you do it once and it works across your dashboard and I'll show you how to do this in Tableau and Power BI. So in this example, I created a total sum of profit um, calculation to where I want to show instead of this negative value, I actually want to show a downward value and then for the positive values, I want to show an up arrow. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to actually walk through this. So the first piece we, we need to go to is actually get the arrows. Um, one easy technique that I saw from SQL Bell, great video, which was awesome, is to go into your actual Word document and go to your symbols. So if you go to your symbols, you should see the ability to select your symbols. And you've seen in geometric shapes that you have the ability to actually select like an up arrow, down arrow, other arrows, so on and so forth. But for this example, I'm going to use the up and down arrow. So all you're going to do is just select it, hit insert, and then hit the down button. And then now you have your arrows. So now the biggest piece now is we actually want to start formatting this stuff in our actual workbooks and getting the calculation up and running. So we're going to Tableau. The biggest piece we want to do is actually go to where our uh, measure is at. So if we go into profit and select the drop down arrow and select default properties and select number format right here, go ahead and do that. You now get this box that pops up. So what we're going to do is not actually, instead of using automatic, we're going to create a custom category. So the biggest thing here is that we want to make sure that we're using a format of what we expect our values to be. So what you can quickly do is go and create a custom format. And what we, we are going to display is our actual custom format. And what this is, is we're saying that we want to show a dollar sign and then we want to show that is a zero comma zero because we expect to have thousand dollars in our actual information. And then here's that up arrow that we created from Microsoft Word. And then here's our down arrow that we have as well. So now once we hit OK, we come in here. So now you'll see that we have the ability to actually show the up arrow and the down arrow right here, right there. So now every time we use our sum of profit, we'll automatically get this displayed and we've done it once and it works across the board. So now let me show you how to do this in Power BI. So going into Power BI, we're going to have the exact same thing where we have the ability to show our total profit and change this. So the exact same formula um, by Power BI default, we have it in parentheses, but we want to change this to be um, yeah, like we did in Tableau, we're just going to do that custom formatting. So to get there, what we're going to do is select our model view icon right here and you're going to go to formatting. So go click here and then you want to go to the measure that you want to actually select. So let me show that for you. So you want to go and select your measure. So in this example, we're going to do total profit. And now what you should see is a property pane right here. What you're going to do is scroll down and go to format. And from there, you're gonna scroll down and you should see custom. Um, now, once custom is popped up, you should see this box area that has all these different type of information. So what we're gonna do is just post the same thing that we did in Tableau. We were gonna do the dollar icon and then the zero comma zero up, so on and so forth. And then we're gonna do a semicolon and then you're gonna have the down arrow. And that means that represents your negative value. So come in here, hit enter. And also, as you see as an example here, this will show you what it will look like once you update it. So it kind of gives you a good look and feel of what your potential values will look like when you update it. So come in here, hit OK. And if you go back to your report, you should see now that it's been updated. So this is how you can quickly change your label and formatting in Tableau and Power BI and do it once and it works across the board. So this is awesome. Hit me up in the comments. Is there another technique? Where are you getting your emojis, your icons from? Hit me up in the comments. Let me know. Otherwise, you have a great day. Take it easy.